Hi, and welcome back to myexcelonline.com. Today we are going to show you how to count only certain cells that meet certain criteria. So let me show you what I mean by this. Here we have an Excel spreadsheet. And in our first example, we want to count up only those records here in column B that are greater than zero. And then we have a second sample for you where we are going to count up all the records in column B that are greater than zero and less than 10. Also, we will have some additional training options for you at the end of this video, so stick around for that. So let's look at our first example here. Let's get only those values in column B where the profit is greater than zero. So to do that, I'm going to click in E1 and I'm going to use the count if function. So if I type equals count if with a left parenthesis, the first argument I'm going to be asked for is my range. So I'm going to highlight from B2 down to B21. And then I'm going to type a comma. And then I'm going to be prompted for what is my criteria. So in double quotes, I'm going to put greater than zero and my double quotes and my parenthesis and hit enter. And I can see that there are 16 products with a profit greater than zero in column B. And if I want to add these up myself, I can go back and verify that there are 16 here. So one thing I want to say is I used the count if function here. Count if works if you have only one criterion that you are using for evaluating your data. But what if I have more than one? If you are liking this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button to get notified when we release our weekly videos. So I'm going to click on sheet two where I have a copy of the same data, but this time I'm going to use a different function because I want to evaluate two different criteria. The first one is if column B is greater than zero. But the second one is I want to know where in column B that those values are also less than 10. So if I type equals here and I type in count IF and with an S this time. So let's just talk about what Excel has done with these kinds of functions. You can use a sum ifs, you can use ifs, you can use count ifs. Whenever you have an S on the end, that just means you're using more than one criterion. Like in my previous example, I only wanted greater than zero. So I could get away with one, so I could get away with count if, or sum if, or just the simple if. But here, if I do count ifs with an S on the end and do a left parenthesis, I can see that I'm being prompted for criteria range one. So what is my first criteria range? Well, right here from B2 all the way down to B21. And I'm going to type a comma. And in double quotes, I'm going to put greater than zero and my double quotes. And then I'm going to type a comma. Now I'm going to be prompted for criteria range two. Well, in this case, I'm going to highlight B2 all the way down to B21 again. And then I'm going to type a comma. But now I get to enter my second criterion, which is going to be double quotes, less than 10, and my double quotes, and my parentheses, and hit enter. And if I do that, now I get a count of two. And if I look over here in my data set, I can see that I have smartphone cases and running shorts. And these really are my only two that are greater than zero and less than 10. So this count up here is returning correctly. So hopefully that helps you to understand how you can use count if and count ifs. If you would like to see more information on the differences between these two functions, you can visit our blog and I will include the link to our blog in the description below. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and we'll get back to you. Thanks for watching and see you again next time.
If you want to learn more about Microsoft Excel and Office, join our Academy online course and access more than a thousand video training tutorials so that you can advance your level and get the promotions, pay raises, or new jobs. The link to join our Academy online course is in the description. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you're really serious about advancing your Microsoft Excel skills so you can stand out from the crowd and get the jobs, promotion and pay rises that you deserve, then click up here and join our Academy online course today.